try to get on this bed without knocking all that over. I wanted to see me, hello. Wanted to talk and kind of go through my little bit of my tarot collection today. Uh, let's look at some of my books first here. Uh, starting with my newest book is Bones, Shells, and Curios by Michelle Jackson. It's a contemporary method of casting the bones. And I wanted to get into learning how to do bone reading. And so I have a set of bones here. Uh, some of these I bought and some are just pieces that I added from my own just collection and things. So here's my bone set here. Just some different things like little soldier man, a key. This was an actual ring that I had through my ear at one point. Uh, some different money. There's like a small amount of money. Uh, both positive and negative. There's a medium size amount of money. And then there's a large amount of money. A dice, a cowrie shell. Uh, some different bones. So I've got some fuzz on it. Uh, everything from different small bones like this rib bone here. A shell. Here's a this is kind of cool, an alligator's foot, or a, uh, a bone from a raccoon, an eraser, what kind of mistakes have you made, uh, a uh, little mini light bulb, what kind of uh, special ideas do you have, a little bell, there's a cat's eye, there's uh, a crystal that was sent to me when I ordered some tarot cards, this is a blue uh, cyanite I believe or kyanite something like that and so to me it would be in the bone set it would mean like a spiritual kind of uh, spirituality this would be like religion religion spirituality um, there's this Norse thing and then like a, a buckeye nut a nutmeg whole nutmeg so there's just a variety of different uh, shells and different things learn how to cast the bones or cast the curios and so they all mean different things I'm still learning their meanings and learning how it works still going through that book with that system and so learning how to do divination and uh, with uh, with the bones and get all these bones back up here yeah that way I can make sure I get all the pieces back in here keep them all together and they come in this little bag here and I keep it in my box so my next one is I've been learning moon power here uh, by uh, Marilyn Keskula Drummond it's uh, about uh, the moons the different moon cycles it's just a little kind of an overview for me just enough of what I need to know about uh, astro uh, astrology just kind of giving me uh, something to kind of go on I really kind of feel connected to the moon so that's something with me um, this came with my angel tarot deck tells me uh, how to invoke angels and uh, just, just some of the different card meanings and such um, this is a really let's see the next one that came is the line striders tarot and this is a really big book with a lot of information about tarot and so a lot of the different cards for that system uh, the next one that I had gotten was the uh, I got this with the hoodoo tarot and so uh, the, the, the cards are really unique in the hoodoo tarot so I'm really having to learn just because they have different names they don't really they don't really follow the rider weight system as much they're kind of close kind of based on it um, there's this book here. This came with my first deck, Phantasmagoria. It came uh, from Ian Daniels. It came with the Tarot of Vampires. And this is probably just one of the most comprehensive tarot books that come with a set of tarot. It has a lot about Kabbalah and uh, the Tree of Life. And, you know, some of the cards don't really match up as well with the Rider weight as well. And so it is important to have that guidebook there. Uh, this is something that I want to be working on, is uh, 
uh, both my wife and girlfriend like to color and so I, I want to color my own deck here and so it has it where I can color the cards like the fool card and the magician and then I can pop them out and so I can eventually have my own 78 card deck of, of cards that I have personally colored myself and so I just really look forward to that it seems like kind of fun and I got this specific book because it was a little bigger than the other one so it made the cards a little bigger and then the paper the paper had kind of more of a matte finish on it that I really liked and so really liked that let's look at some of the decks that I have uh, let's see what was the the last deck that I got was right here this is the Happy Tarot. And just everything about these cards. And all of my card decks, for the most part, are working decks. So they're not in, in the right order all the time. But uh, just like all these images. Like here's one, just to, for instance. They, just, they make me happy. Just like everything about this. But it's a serious deck. It's not all, you know, it has some serious cards in it. And so when you pull just the different cards or whatever, they, they all, uh, you know, they all have like, let's see, this is the magician here.